Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 9 of season 2 for my Alpha 17 7 Days to Die Let's Play. Hooray! Uh, right here outside the base. I started a little bit later because um, I just wanted to gather some more materials and we're going to kill off this rock. This was a huge rock that was right outside our base. And I have plans for this area. Also, there are a few changes that I wanted to make to the base. Like, I don't like these iron bars. Um, I mean, not iron bars, the wood bars. Not for this. Because I want to, um, when I'm up top, the zombies will not path across those spikes to get to me. Um, they just sit there and they run around back and forth, which is all well and good, but I just would, um, plus... Another thing, I wanted to make this three tall instead of just two. Um, that way, because I found that a lot of the times the zombies were jumping on top of each other and then they get on top of it. And I don't really want them to do that. Also, I might add like here. So that they can't get under here to uh, hit those blocks above there. And I want to add in a new wall here. B3 as well. And we're going to put another row of spikes. And traps. Probably not, you know... I don't know. This is kind of effective um, because they they do tend to want to go over the barbed wire instead of the spikes, uh, except for the dogs. The dogs go right through the spikes. Um, I also added this section in the middle to sort of protect <laughs> uh, to protect the the ladder area. I really did not like um, I did not like coming down and then the, the zombies just swarmed me. So I want to reinforce all of our ladders uh, and then add doors because I think they're going to ignore the doors when I have a clear path um, to the inner base. I think they'll ignore the doors. That's the plan, anyway. Um, also, I was thinking... I prefer to uh, be up top and shoot down, but it really looks like um, when I'm up top, they are not pathing to me. They're just sitting there running back and forth around one of these uh, things <laughs> and they just continue to go back and forth around it instead of trying to go through. So I was thinking maybe even since I want to put spikes here we might we might even open this area back up and put more traps down here. That way they have a second avenue to go and then they'll have a third one that will sort of go around like that. An L shape. Like on this side. And then we'll have spikes all through here. And the reason why I want to, I 
don't like the bars is because that the zombies will go this way if they can. And I don't want them to do that. I want them to get on the spikes. And if they have that space, they'll go there instead. So I will eventually uh, upgrade all of these just to the wooden blocks. Uh, <laughs> like the, the edges here. And I'll upgrade these too. I just, uh, I ran out of wood and I had to go get some more. That's why I waited until 8 uh, to start recording. Uh, so then I could get more wood. <laughs> I, I had a whole bunch of trees planted over there and I cleared them all and plant, you know, replanted the saplings. All the extra ones too. Oh my gosh, there's so many trees over there. I know you can barely see. There's a sapling. There's a sapling. There's a sapling. Sapling. Saplings are all over here. Plus, I did. Uh, there were tons of rocks in this area that I mined, and I killed that rock. And look, we have over 6,000 snow now. Hoorah! Yes. And with all that dirt that we gathered from uh, <laughs> the treasure. Uh, we got plenty of stuff for flagstone. Plus we bought like, what, 700 from the merchant? So yeah, we're doing good on uh, the flagstone materials. Uh, but I would still like to keep all of these on the outside as um, wood because this is uh, just expendable. All of this stuff is expendable. Um, it's not really meant to fortify but to herd so <laughs> it really doesn't matter uh, what the material is I, I just want it cheap as cheap as possible because I really don't care if they destroy it uh, but like I said what they did not path through until I went down into the cage on the inside and then they started uh, slowly making their way across on on the traps. They they it didn't appear like they have broken any of the spike traps down the middle. They would prefer to go down uh, the barbed wire ones, which it would it took them forever. But you know. <sighs> So I'm just trying to think. Uh, also, I put the iron bars here, not to really, so that I could see through, just so that it wasn't a one wide tunnel, just to open it up a little bit uh, and make it seem a little more roomy uh, instead of claustrophobic heading over here. So I've got two of these done. This one is going to be a pain because I'm going to have to dig all of this stuff out. Uh, I mean, this almost goes up to the door here uh, where I'm going to have to start digging and I'll dig all the way. I'll dig all this stuff out. I'll probably do this digging part um, at night. Yeah, you can see this is where uh, the second horde came from over the hill and and they came this way and, and shattered all. Oh man, I still don't know what's up with that. Why, why I got a second horde? If it was a second, I'm pretty sure it was a second horde because um, they just kept spawning and I know I killed, I killed so many. Oh my god, I ran myself out of ammo and I had to resort to coming back down and standing over there. I need to repl repl replace those, by the way. I need to replace those blocks. I took the wooden frames out uh, because I just stuck them in there. I figured, you know, why not? Uh, it, would, it might keep them, you know, a second or two <laughs> from do doing me bodily harm. I don't know. So I think, uh, let's go down there and see how many they broke. I think it was like five or six. 
Oh, plus they got this one almost broke. If they'd have broke that one, they would have been able to come through. This one was almost broke. Oh my goodness. They didn't touch any of those and only one on the bottom here. And uh, there we go. All right, and they touched that. Oh, I hate it when the zombies touch my stuff. So it looks like we got four, four blocks broken. So we need the, the flagstone pole. Did I favorite that? Yes. I also made up 64 of the flagstone blocks. Uh, that's four up top. Yeah, because we're going to do uh, some, we're going to finish that off up there. Finish up the top of the base. I would also like to at least get the bottom two um, of all of those poles reinforced. Because they, they would come up and it seemed, hang on. All right, sorry about that. Uh, that was an important phone call that I had to take, so, uh, sorry about the interruption. Of course, it didn't, you know, interrupt you for very long, so, <laughs> one, two, three, four is how tall we want these, and we want them all, all the way around. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, let's sort of move this and we'll want to go ahead and queue up some more of our wood frames. Let's just do a hundred because I'm pretty sure we're going to go through all of those. Because uh, I would also like to, how far is this? Three, six. Um, I need to make some more flagstone. So we're going to do six for each corner, so that means we'll need 24 for all the corners. And then, what is it, four? One, <laughs> one, two, three, four, yes. So eight. 8 times 4, and we need another 32. I would just like to uh, be able to make these outer blocks um, the flagstone. And then the inner ones right here, we can just full we'll upgrade those. So it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. You just look, watch. <laughs> awesome. Um, I definitely, it's going to be a while before we can get iron bars on the inside there. And I'm using pretty much all the wood. All the wood, man. All the wood is getting used on uh, all those upgrades on the exterior. <sighs> yeah, it take it's taken a lot of wood to do all this, but I think. Um, I was just trying to think, like, maybe if we open that up so that they could go this way or this way when they got to the end, that they would, they would pass into the traps, maybe? 
But this technically it does go over here and then over to there. So I don't know. That doesn't really that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully they will path into the, spa the spikes. It wasn't my intention that they just run around like idiots. I was hoping they would go onto the spikes. So hopefully uh, by adding more spikes into this row and this row that they, that will force them to go down one of the alleyways with the spikes and be slowed down because it's, it's really a pain to hit them when they're running around like idiots. Uh, and to mention, not to mention the fact that they are running. So it's a lot harder to hit them. And uh, I definitely want to slow them. Oh, look at that. There are rocks over there. So close to my base. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to have to go fix that. There we go. And this one will be easy to add the uh, the door onto that one because it's level. So we only have to worry about that one side being dug out. It's farming time! Um, Hopefully we could get quite a bit of this done because I would I would definitely like to get a farm going and get some vegetable stew. Definitely. Cause uh <laughs> yeah, I didn't have I didn't have a mushroom seed, so I'm glad that we got those um mushrooms from the merchant. That was very helpful. There we go. We'll just go in and fill this all around. I do like being able to place blocks more than three away. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm used to Minecraft. Uh, you can only place a block up to three blocks away, but it's sort of reversed on uh, Seven Days to Die because you can place them a lot farther away, but you can't mine them. Like in Minecraft, you can mine up to five blocks away, but uh, Seven Days to Die, it's only like three. Oh, shnikes. Oh, how did she see me? I was on the blocks. Oh, dude, seriously. I can't even see her. God dang it. Oh, another screamer. Two screamers. You're kidding me. Probably won't be able to hit her. Nope, I was way off. Oh boy, that's my timer. I can't hit her. I can't hit her. I gotta get over there. She's gonna call buddies. Oh. Oh, that looks like. 
like you had quite a tumble there. Oh, I missed the, the follow-up. I did not want her to get up. Jeez. All right. All right, we can go down and take care of these. Yeah. Hey, hey. Not the bait. Not the bait. I can't believe she called two screamers. Oh my god. I did have a screamer while I was on the other side of the base, filling in that uh, the walkway for the ladder. But she didn't see me and she wound up killing herself on my spike. So that was, uh, that was pretty sweet. That's the dream, man, for the screamers to just die on my spikes. Anybody else? I think it's clear. All right, let's go finish. I only got three more blocks. Um, so, while we're down here, let's come in. Oh! That's another thing I'm going to fix. Is I have a hundred nails here and I made up some more iron. Because I got a, I got a lot of iron mining all those rocks. It's not worth firing it up for that right now. So we're not going to bother with it. Um, but I do have those nails. So I want to make some more of these storage boxes. So let's get those going. And we'll grab um, some of this dirt and we'll start making it into the forest ground. How many can we make? Oh, I bet I bet we use all of that because it's going to be pretty big up there. And worst case, we can just lay it down. Um, lay it down and bust it up again if we don't use it, but I'm pretty sure we will. There. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need some more of our wooden frames. So let's get those going too. And then we just fill in all the rest of this with the wooden frames. And then we need to upgrade it. <laughs> so, good times. Yeah, it's a little a little laggy up here I mean there's not like a lot of lights I did put up more uh, torches but there's not there's not like a whole lot I don't I don't have a whole lot in um, like my alpha 16 I noticed that the lights were really really laggy but that was like spotlights and I had like 20 of them all around the base uh, that they would just come on at night and it would just total lag this but I don't understand this why why it's laggy on the base is it because of all the blocks I've placed is it the wooden frames uh, maybe that they haven't been up upgraded and they're sort of you, you have to see through them or something I don't know but that just doesn't seem right we need those. Oh no. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Get those first. <laughs> I didn't do all of them. I'm so silly. Yeah, this should be enough. I'm hoping that I had enough wood harvested that we can uh, get this. But if it's if we don't, it's not a big deal as long as we get the dirt around it. Um, we can still do the farms. I think it's funny that um, I never do the farming until after I can always um, make my own. 
hose anyway, but I always find a hoe and so I never have to make one. I always intend to to do the farm early on. I just never get around to it. It's like I have so many more important things to do than farming, but farming is in my opinion, you know, it's really important. I mean, I really don't like having to worry about food all the time. Um, and farming to me is more desirable than putting points into uh, into the, the perk for the food. So where's our dirt? We got like 22 and we're going to do like the other one. I'm going to place it uh, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, and then one on the outside. And then we're going to have uh, ramps. That's what we need, ramps. No, I don't want the flagstone, I want the wood frame. And we can't do the corners and the Oh! Holy Jiminy, I completely forgot. While um uh I also wanted to talk while while we're doing the stuff and things. Um yeah, let's do 50 sounds good. Um I leveled while gathering. And then I was like, oh my god, um, I'm 30. I leveled to 30 and I was like, oh no, I didn't plan. And I spent that point yesterday on, <laughs> on uh, what was it, the Daring Adventurer. And if I'd have saved it, I would have been able to put my point in and get the advanced engineering. But then I leveled again while I was gathering because I gathered so much. Uh, so we got the two points where we can put a point in our int and then the point in the advanced engineering to get the workbench and the table saw. So yes, not to mention we can make a compound bow and a mining helmet and basic electrical components. I don't know what electrical component, I wish it was more like maybe is that the wiring tool and maybe the... I don't know. Let's see. Can we can we actually see? Is that gonna be like under science or something? Uh the workbench. That's all. Uh maybe you don't see them until you get the workbench. You look at the recipes in the workbench. Okay. Um so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, also, I, w I wanted to point out that on the Horde Night, I did not see a cop, which I was very, very happy about because um, my first Horde in my other game, I had like a, a vulture attack me and four cops on my first Horde Night. It was horrible. <laughs> I survived. Actually, no. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, no, that was like the second Horde Night that I didn't survive. Or was it the third one? I don't remember. I know I did die and then they were in my base and just murdering me <laughs> uh, left and right because they dug down into... I, I had my... Uh, sleeping bag downstairs and you'll notice that in this one it is definitely most definitely upstairs I haven't even dug down that much yet I haven't had to because um yeah I've been having to dig out uh a little bit around the base so that's provided me with enough you know dirt and we did do the buried treasure and that got us more dirt so 
Uh, I like it that it's dirt and clay so you can use it for you know it's multi-purpose it's not just one thing so I really like that uh, so I was uh, pleased to see that they readjusted the uh, the hoard the, I guess that's the game stage so that you don't get those pops on the first night uh, although I think I could have handled them this, this space is uh, holding up pretty well. Although I do, I do want to spend some time upgrading that inner defense because if I run out of ammo again, we might have to go down there and start fighting. <laughs> like this time, uh, I really wish I had recorded it. Um, but I, at first I thought it was just a wandering horde and I was like, okay, I'll take care of them. And then they just kept spawning and spawning and I was like, oh, this is not a wandering horde. So I don't know uh, what that was about, but plus they came from a completely like opposite direction. Like the, the first horde was coming from around here and then the second one was coming from over there so it's just a little bit confusing oh i need to pause the video oh man i'm so sad right now i completely forgot i got to talking my timer had gone off and I burned my bacon. Oh, had it in the oven. <laughs> it's all burnt. I mean, it's not burnt, but man, it's like, it's really cooked. It's very, very cooked. Very, very crispy. Crisper fried bacon. And I'm out. There we go. So, yeah. Um, pretty sure we're going to use all that dirt. How many more are we making? 87. So we used like 100 so far. Seriously, that's 50 in each one? We're going to need a lot more than that. That is craziness. Are we going to have enough wood, hopefully, to upgrade all these? Having the farmland up top where it's protected, I don't have to worry about the zombies destroying it. Or, and and it's something I can do uh, at night if you know the zombies about or whatever. And it's also something I can do like during the day. Hey, kitty, kitty, no eat bacon. Kitty eat fish, tuna. My cat. That's my daughter's cat. Oh, she she loves fat. Uh, I'm not joking. She loves to eat fat. She is like the skinniest cat in the whole world. And her favorite thing to eat is fat. She likes eating raw butter. Yeah, I'm not I'm not kidding. She eats raw butter. Oh. Uh, anytime I go in the kitchen to cook, she follows me in there because if I bring out the butter, 
she just starts going crazy for it. She loves getting the butter. The butter is the best. She will, and I'll give her like a little pat of the cold raw butter and she just devours it. And she's, she's got a squeaky little voice. She doesn't have a really big meow. She never has. <laughs> she, she loves the butter. She loves eating the butter. But she's over here eyeballing my burnt bacon. She's like, what did you do to the beautiful fat crazy woman? It's all burnt. You know, if I didn't like bacon so much, I would, I would see if she wanted to eat some raw bacon, but I don't want her to get like sick or anything. I don't like giving her a little bit of butter every now and then, but... Uh, I don't know. Raw bacon might be bad for her. I mean, she likes tuna too, but oh my goodness, when the butter comes out, she means business. She will not stop pounding you till she gets her hands on some butter. <laughs> I usually call her Bitty Bit because when we got her, she was so tiny. She would like fit in the palm of your hand. I mean, she was teensy weensy. <laughs> And now she, she's a lot bigger, but she's very trim. Uh, and it's just amazing that she loves eating fat. And she's like the, the skinniest cat in the house. And the other cats, they don't, I don't know, they, they don't like eating the raw butter, but shh, Bitty Bit does. Then she likes to eat the fat. And then we have Nikki. She likes bread. I had to like throw so much of my sourdough out because she'll like get into it. I have to keep it covered with a lid because she'll get into it and she'll just eat it raw. <laughs> raw sourdough. Is this all? It looks like we got about 40 left. I just want to know how far out I need to take all this stuff. I guess I already know. It's that far. Oops. All right, let's fill in some more. Yeah, definitely gonna need tons more dirt for this. So we're gonna have to, um, after I upgrade all of these, go downstairs and get some more dirt. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, do we have any more? Oh, good. We still have several hundred wood, which is good. Hoping that I had gathered enough for what I wanted to do because I've been blowing through all the wood. I'm gonna need like a bigger tree farm. I've just been replanting all those saplings over on the other side of the road, and I meant to just gather wood from like four to eight game time this morning and. Yeah, it turned into, I was mining. I was like, oh my God, there's so many rocks over here. I gotta get them. So I did. I 
got them, but uh, I didn't get as much wood as I wanted. <coughs> All right, let's go down and get some more of the dirt and crunch on a piece of bacon. It's very, very crunchy. Mmm. It's still baking though, so it's good. Okay, so seven times six is forty two. Oh, my God. That means I need over. I'm going to use all of this. Almost. No, oh, no, that might not even be enough. So we still got to finish that one corner. Holy. like we finished our ramps. Let's just finish off this section. Mmm. Bacon. from the bottom. I hate, I hate going on the edge. I hate living on the edge, man. Oh, nerds. It's like facing the wrong way if I turn and face the block. I like it that it changes direction when I face it, but then again, you know, <laughs> because of that, I can't look at it like this, because then it's turned. You can see it's turned sideways. Oh, it's so hard to look at the, the side of it there without making it turn. Success. Now we're on to the next part. Um, yeah, while we're waiting for all that dirt, I guess we could also see, I guess we need to make an extra claw hammer. We have an extra wrench that I saved. Oh, not enough. Didn't get enough. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter if I make another claw hammer it's going to be level 3 as well do we even have the stuff for it because it takes uh, I know we got the we might have to loot cars for that I know we got the forged iron. I don't know about the mechanical parts. Oh, we do! Was it 25 or just 20? 
20. Okay. We'll crack that up. Uh, I also now need to make another hammer. Hope I don't need it. There we go. and place some of these. And we can get um get our inventory sorted. Like I would definitely love to get all the stuff out of this chest and now from in front of that door. <laughs> Can I hold everything? Not quite. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can have like the workbench here or here. Let's do here. We'll put our like engines and batteries down here and like our chassis, I guess. And then on the middle, we'll put all the, <coughs> excuse me, all the common things like um, plastics, short iron pipes uh, do, 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 do. oh mechanical parts we'll get tons of those electrical parts oh we're also gonna get tons and tons of gas hopefully <laughs> Well, work with me here and I think then we have like gas cans oh I put them in here I think I can barely move uh -huh. all right and then oil You get those when you do cars too. Get headlights, glue, duct tape. Uh, you don't get acid from cars, but I like keeping it in here. And let's put the bones. Yep, I think that's all. And then I guess this could be like a miscellaneous chest for like paint. And we'll put our doodads in there. This, oh, spring. Actually, no, we'll leave that there. This will be for radiators. And then this side will be the chemistry set. We 
we can put. making things in here. Mmm, paper. Okay, so the top one here we're going to make this for <coughs> our base materials. This one was for the chemistry station. So we're going to put like all of our medical supplies over there. I think that's it. We'll straighten this out later. Awesome. Is we almost done yet? What did that do with the miscellaneous? I think it was over here. Let's put that door in there. Oh, and I think all of our dirt is done. Oh, it's close to being done, though. There we go. And then we got, oh, we still got like five minutes on that dirt. Wow. Okay. Finished all four. Oh no! Drats! You know, I was worried about this bacon, but <laughs> it's still bacon, it still tastes good. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna get some farming done. Sweet. Oh crap. Uh oh, I did it again. Seriously. That way I can tell where to s stop. <laughs> Hooray for the farmland! Oh, 
we're still making. Um, let's stop that. Because I think we're close to having the amount that we're, we need. I think it was 42, and I think we might have been. We might have cut it off one too short. No? Oh, because I already had the the seven on on this the inside placed so we got a little bit extra which is okay so now we need to make some more some more of the wooden frame ramps and then once we make that we can make the table saw and then we can um we can make the fence. Of course, it's a little bit late for that. <laughs> we have 466 dirt now. Um, I guess we could... it up again <laughs> boy we're hungry I need to get in there and get something to eat get some stamina back There we go. <laughs> One more. Come on, you can do it. Now I don't have a lot of seeds. Let's go down and uh take a look at our seed situation. I have one aloe vera seed. These are seeds I've gotten from looting. I've only gotten one coffee, so I can't even make coffee. But we do have raw corn, raw potatoes, raw chrysanthemum, and flowers. Oh, look, we got 776 experience for making that workbench. Oh. I hear Zombert. Oh, we also have blueberries, and we got two mushrooms, or ten mushrooms. That should make two seeds. Oh! Zoinkies! I can't make it because I'm a ninny. And I didn't get the perk to make the seeds. Oh look, this is uh, activated now. Hmm. All right, well, our workbench is done. This is where I wanted the workbench. What do we need to make the table saw? Oh, we don't have the parts. Or the electrical parts. So we need to spend an episode getting 
getting the parts. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to get the perk. So we'll have to hold off on that for a little bit. Oh, that is no good. All right, I think I hear zombies out there. Oh, let's get something to eat. Let's go have a chat with some Zomberts. 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 Oh, look, you're going down my alleyway just like I wanted. Thank you, Mr. Zombert. He's just walking around, having a good old time in zombie land. You know, I, I'm supposed to charge you for admittance for that. Since you refuse to pay. Hey, hey. I know you snuck in. You thought I didn't notice, but I did. Oh, look at them. They're trying to sneak away without paying. Zombie land is not free. You have to pay to ride the ride. There we go. Any more of you zombies? Oh, we're gonna have to dig out that corner too. A little bit of this one. And this other one over here. I'll try to do most of that digging off camera. Oh, how did this one go untouched? Look at how close it is. All right, so. I'm going to be gathering more materials. Look, my trees are starting to sprout. You can't see anything over there. <laughs> gathering more wood, mostly. Um, next episode, we're, I guess we'll, we're going to have to make... Where did my frames go? Did I use them all? Wow, okay. <laughs> so we have to farm land now we just gotta wait until I level again I'll probably level up gathering again hopefully I don't get too many zombies see look my frames are fine out here I left the door open so I was born in a barn <laughs> And then all I do is go upstairs and it, it goes down. Yeah. You would think being inside here, it, the frames would be less because it doesn't have to do anything with the outside. It's just so weird. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. And we'll see you next time. We're probably going to go... Um, ride our bike into town and tear apart some cars so we can get enough to make the table saw. And that would be nice. So, um, and maybe we might go to one of the buried supplies. Or I could go to one of the buried supplies really early in the morning, like head off at four after the zombies start running, get there, dig it up, and then start the episode. Because it shouldn't take me that long, hopefully. Uh, I'm hoping 8, 8 a.m. game time max. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.